Welcome back to World War II Jeep and Rifle. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to open up a vibrator canister so that you can get to the internals if you need to do a repair that uh, only can be done from the inside. Uh, vibrators and many other vintage circuits were housed inside of a can. And uh, in order to get in there, you've got to uncrimp the, uh, the bottom edge so that you can pull the guts out. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do that. It's a little bit like opening a can opener. You, you just sort of get yourself a starting place by prying open the crimped ridge of the can and then you just work your way along it gently just i'm trying not to tear the metal but i'm definitely working it with my screwdriver back and forth sometimes a little bigger one gives me more leverage to pry and uh, keep your knuckles out of the way too as that screwdriver has a tendency to slip so just work your way around this, this whole can, the edge of this can, gently prying the crimped edge open. And then we'll go back around with some pliers and straighten it so that we can <clears throat> get enough clearance to pull the guts out of this vibrator. Now you can see I've started working my way around the rim of the can. And as you can open up that crimp, then you get your pliers and you can start straightening it out and widening the mouth so that uh, there's enough clearance. But <clears throat> once, you've, once you've gotten a, a start on it, it's a little bit easier on your knuckles, which if you're doing it like this, have a tendency to get in the way of the point of a screwdriver and I have skinned up some knuckles over the years but uh, I like to get the can on the table where I'm using my screwdriver point to pry the lip of that open little bite at a time but with the backdrop of uh, the table work table so that as my screwdriver slips it it goes into the wood instead of into my skin and it also uh, provides a nice foundation for applying some force as you work your way around it's just little little bitty bite at a time of progress and then rotate the can and take another bite and you do that all the way around until you can uh, uh, straighten out all the edges with your pliers. So when I get to that step, I'll turn the camera back on and we'll see what that looks like. That we'll try right here. I'm just applying some gentle pressure on the, one of the pins of the circuit. There we go. 